it's very hard. Black Ops Cold War. What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the new SMG on Cold War that has explosive rounds. Not trying to fool anyone here, I'm not trying to say that the brand new SMG is overpowered or it's broken. <laughs> but at the same time, these explosive flechette rounds on this brand new SMG, they are pretty wacky. Every shot you take has an explosive tip that blows up when you're shooting. If you guys saw my last video, you would have known that playing Cold War and like the newer Call of Duty games, it has been frying our electricity. I do appreciate all the advice you guys gave. One change I made on Cold War, which I think was actually a really good one, was reducing how much like VRAM it can use. I changed it back to 80% default. It was at 90% before, which I think could have been like overloading things. I also turned back some of my settings just a little bit. But yeah, let me show you guys what this new SMG can do. Now I have unlocked the explosive rounds for online, so we're playing against bots so I can showcase this to you guys. I will just use the regular UGR, but yeah. This is what it does. It makes the gun super melty, but you also don't really have to aim. Like, watch this. I could just shoot at Garcia's feet here. And he's just gonna die, like, immediately. It's actually pretty insane. I think what makes this kind of broken in a sense is that you don't really have to aim the gun, like, at all. Look at that. It's almost kind of like you're landing a headshot, but you just have to shoot someone's toes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they go flying after they die. Like, the ragdoll is hilarious. I think that's the best part about using this gun. Look at that. It's ridiculous. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more Cold War stuff, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can break 11,000 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. Oh. Woo! I think what makes these explosive flechette rounds broken or overpowered is just the fact that you really don't have to aim at all. I could just shoot like that. I mean, I didn't kill him, but... <laughs> when I go to play online and I just try to use the SMG, you'll see that it's not as good. Like, you're not gonna be able to do stuff like that. Here's the build that I've currently got for the gun in case anyone cares. Task Force Barrel to increase the damage. We've got the five Modern Warfare laser sight. We've got the Bruiser Grip. Hold up. Hold up. No. Obviously the explosive flechette rounds, and then I put the Gru Elastic Grip because I like Gru. If you're someone who really doesn't like to have to think or use your brain, this is a perfect attachment for you. I'm gonna get a nuke. I'm gonna do it. I don't even know how. This gun is so bad. And this is just how it is in Cold War. Like, I don't know how good it's gonna be in Warzone. I don't know if it's like the new meta or anything like that, but I can imagine it probably could be, like. Tactical nuke ready for launch. It cleans up pretty nicely. Oh, I got a nuke. Oh my. Two hostiles down. <laughs> Why does the nuke kill yourself? That's kind of pointless, right? Doesn't end the game. But yeah, let's go use this thing online. Gonna use some of my double weapon XP so that way I can actually get the attachment, hopefully. Probably gonna stick with hardcore and try to get like lots of kills with it. I actually haven't tested the attachment in hardcore, but I'd imagine it's even more broken there. Like this new SMG is already really good in core. So I mean in hardcore, yeah. Oh my God, fix your f***ing microphone. Who's camping up here? Where'd this guy go? Oh. <laughs> You think you're so clever camping at the top of the map on jungle. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's what I get for not just fucking killing the guy. Get some XP. Oh shit. Already got him. Get out my way, bro. Get out my way, bro. Ooh. I only have one shot. What is this guy doing? Check those corners. Captain Price. <laughs> Check your corners. <laughs> he is the corner. What are these clowns doing? Quad oh, feed. miracle quad feed. Teammate, Jesus Christ. He's melting me with those fire rounds. 41 to 17 had half the team's kills. Got play, got a quad feed, not bad. I don't know if I should do the camo challenges, like if that's gonna speed up leveling this thing up. After all this time of playing this game, I still don't know if that does anything. Oh, that was bloody hogwash. Blow him up. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, teammate. Oh, oh shit. What is that thing? Oh. Where are my shots going? Are we calling this gun the UGR or the Uger? I would have already had the attachment unlocked for public match, but as you guys know, you know, the power issues and stuff. I saw a lot of people suggesting to get a backup battery kind of thing where you can like plug it in and even if the power goes out, you'll still have the battery to like give you power. I actually used to have those, but I really did not like them. Even with a full brand new battery, they'd be beeping like the battery was dead. Yeah, I just got tired of it. I just have regular power strips. I probably will have to get the circuit breaker upgraded at some point, especially if like more powerful GPUs come out. I wholeheartedly expect the 4090 to require the power of 80 p Pikachu's to supply power to that thing. Your house won't even be good enough. You're gonna have to start catching Pokemon. Gonna need a whole army of pickle charns. Like, what is that? No other gun does that. Enemy hacker has compromised your field mic. Oh boy, they hacked a field mic. Good job. In the corner, what a surprise. These enemies are so fucking boring! Ooh, oh, quad feed. <laughs> there's the quad feed. 
teammate had a good couple seconds to stare at me and still decide, you know what? I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, fucker. This is why I always get triggered playing this game because my teammates are just utter sh I'm always the top, always caring and doing everything I can to play the game and win, but it's never good enough, just like Black Ops 4. I don't know if it's skill-based matchmaking or what, but I, huh. It's any game that does this too, not just Cold War. Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2019, they're all guilty. Another amazing win thanks to great teammates. Oh my God. Best on the team second for objective play, still losing miserably. And what do they do? They just had to sit in corners on the objective the whole game. That's all they did. Nothing special about it. Wait, I got something new. What is that? Did I see burst fire repeater? Eh, let's try it out. Why not? I don't think it'll be any good, but I might as well. The original jam is just such a bop! Woo! <laughs> The original Cold War music is actually such a vibe. Wait, what? Oh, I have burst fire on the- Oh, that's gonna be so bad for this map. I think. Wait. It's actually really good. Not really. I hate this. No, 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 no. Get it off my gun. We're gonna need that sprint to fire time. It's Glubico. Where are they spawning? Where are they- Where are you gonna go? Yep. Yep, that seems about right for this map. Wow. But that was a kill chain? What? That didn't even seem like a kill chain. Keep unlocking things, get all the kills. Ah! <gasps> now! Level 32, come on! <laughs> oh, now he's busting out the street sweeper cheese. Well, great. <laughs> the street sweeper cheese so trash. The fuck was that? <laughs> Even Mason, the fuck was that? <laughs> I, I guess we'll put hardcore nuke 10 on since I can't find anything. I already wasted three minutes of double XP just sitting around for a game. Why does it work that way? How come the double XP doesn't actually start running once you're in a game? I'm not getting weapon attachments by just sitting here walking in a straight line. I gotta play the game. There we go. I don't even know what I got. Oh, more Globa code. Nice. Come on, son. Oh, it's already halfway over. Maintain Bruh! Glizzy Gobbler is your name, really? Come on, I was about to pop off! Pop off! <laughs> Those dudes at the bottom. I'm 16 and 25, I'm the loudest. <laughs> His own teammates roasting him. Who started playing a recorder? The trash talk on Call of Duty is only getting worse. When they lose their arguments, they just start playing the flute. Got some hardpoint on Nuketown. This is probably gonna be the last of the double XP. If I can't get the explosive rounds for this video, I at least hope that I can have it for the UGR by the time the Warzone event happens. I can't wait for it, man. Oh my. Ooh, got that bloodthirsty. That should hopefully give me some camos. Ooh. Brayden be getting squished. Free. The fucking lag! What is this game? Constant frame drops. I what even for? What's happening? <gasps> I want the fire rounds. <sighs> cool name. Gucci. Why is your name Gucci Fetus? Just bought this fetus from Gucci. Costs less than the actual clothes they sell. At least we won that game, though. I mean, it was okay. It's just too much camping in all these new COD games, man. It's like a never-ending vicious cycle, like, every time I play. If I complain about people camping in Cold War, they're like, Oh, well, what about Modern Warfare and Vanguard? It's all the same. If I play Modern Warfare and people are camping on there, they're like, Oh, well, you should see how bad it is on Cold War and Vanguard. And if I complain about campers on Vanguard, then they're like, Oh, well, what about Cold War and Modern Warfare? It's all shit. I got it to level 37. I will just unlock this attachment on my own time. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use the new explosive round SMG in Cold War. Very happy that the power did not go off during this video. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see me stream the Warzone event tomorrow, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need it. 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 I don't need it